I'm playing the rest of Patrick Mahomes' career and not stopping until the day he retires. We start off in his fifth NFL season at a 95 overall. We gotta get that back up to 99. Now I am gonna simulate through each regular season, but each time he does make the Super Bowl, I have to play the entire game. Now the problem, Mahomes has to complete these three challenges before he retires, and if he doesn't, I have to buy, then immediately discard his much 23 card, and bro, this is one of the most expensive cards in the entire game. This is gonna be so difficult for Patrick to achieve because he's easily in the toughest division of all of football. Wish me luck, I wanna save my precious mutt coins. No Tyreek Hill, no problem. 14 wins and the best record in the NFL isn't bad, especially in this division. So much is already happening, I'm offended. Oh no, he was so close to getting his first MVP of the video, but 97 year old Tom Brady wins it for what, the 57th time? That is the most ridiculous season I have ever seen. 5,500 yards, 45 touchdowns, seven picks, only sacked 25 times? They couldn't run the ball, but who needs to when you have him? They did a really good job of like spreading the wealth. No wonder Tom Brady beat Mahomes. He threw for 6,000 yards. I mean, I'll 100% go ahead and take myself a Super Bowl berth. No, that's actually hilarious. That was my IRL Super Bowl prediction. Hopefully we can improve year two and actually win a playoff game today. And Lamar finally gets him a ring, so I'm happy for him. At the end of year number one, it didn't really take him that long to get back up to 99. The only teammate Patrick lost to retirement was Jason Pierre-Paul. Chiefs didn't really do too much to help the team around Patrick, but they did sign a roach. Okay, so they drafted a little bit to help the offense. Maybe Patrick's right tackle of the future and running back of the future. Hey, my first franchise crash of Madden 23. So we did win the division, but that's like prime time what you expect from the AFC West now. At least Patrick made the playoffs and that's all he needs to make a run. Can we please get our first MVP? No, who is this? He came in third. We're just getting teased. Tom Brady retires and then the Buccaneers draft a freaking rookie to win the MVP. I mean, that's again just an absolute ridiculous season. Where in the world is Juju Smith? Although McCole Hardman's glad to be the number one receiver. Ooh, Juju left Patrick for Aaron Rodgers. Come on, bro. Just give us our first Super Bowl berth. Mac Jones made it before us. We cannot beat the Ravens in the playoffs. That result is America's worst nightmare. Can somebody turn on the lights? Of course, he stayed at a 99 overall at the end of year two. And he still has plenty of time to win another ring with the Chiefs. Although, it really might be difficult for the team to build a good squad around him when he has a $60 million cap hit in 2027. So again, they really didn't spend any money at all. I hope they just don't get worse and worse. And they're not really drafting too well either. Year three, can third time be a charm? And can we at least finally cross something off our challenge list? Patrick's back to his winning ways in the AFC West. He didn't quite get the one seed though. I'm feeling it. An MVP, Brian Simpson. I'm so tired of you already. Oh God, he's dropping now down to number five. Like what else can you ask for? 70% completion percentage with 605 attempts. And while that rookie running back already took over, didn't necessarily do too good. When on God's earth did the Chiefs get T Higgins and Jalen Rager? Come on, bro. We haven't even won a playoff game yet. Can you just take a straight to the Super Bowl, win like three in a row, please? <laughs> Patrick's lost three straight playoff games. Bro, this is sickening. Bro, I swear the Chiefs just must be broke. Okay, so this is easily the best draft they've had so far. A 79 linebacker in the second and a 74 wide receiver in the third? In all honesty, they needed a draft like this. We've got to complete something in year number four because I really feel like the Chiefs window might be closing. Well, at least they won the division again. Mahomes has got to win an MVP eventually. No. Cowboys are my arch nemesis. Can we just bump you up a few spots? I mean, what more can you ask from them? First time they've had a 1,000 yard rusher, so they hit on him at least. Jalen Ragers is number one receiver. No wonder he can't win MVP. Come on, Patrick. We've got to make it to a Super Bowl this season, please. Oh no, but our rival makes it. That's just unbelievable. I thought at least by this point, the franchise would have one Super Bowl and maybe one MVP. So far, just an L. So finally, the Chiefs spent a little money. I mean, that's like a subpar draft.
draft. I'm not even gonna lie, I lost count. I think it might be year five. Oh my god, this is Patrick's best season yet. 15 and 2, that has to mean he won the MVP, right? Let's go! Finally! That's Patrick's first MVP of the video. And we need to win just one more to cross that off our challenge list. It literally just took us five years to complete one half of a challenge. I mean, in all honesty, that might be the most touchdowns he's thrown in a season yet, but not by much. It's really no different than his other seasons. You give Patrick Mahomes and his offense a decent running game, they're gonna be unstoppable. Who in the world are you? Apparently the Chiefs lost Travis Kelsey and Goddard was just the Kelsey replacement. Bro, if we can just knock off one more challenge this season, this will be a massive success. Just make the Super Bowl. It's the Broncos again! He still hasn't won a playoff game, dude! What in the world is going on? If the Broncos win it again, thank God. He finally retired, but I'm so confused where he was the entire season. Chiefs are back to being cheap again. Quite interesting though, the Chiefs might have drafted the next Travis Kelsey. An update, he's still 99 overall and is now over 30 years old. He only has two years left on his contract, and I'm so interested to see if they re-sign him or if he goes elsewhere. That's actually a pretty solid wide receiver core and a really good tight end room. So maybe with that talent around him, this can be the year he completes the MVP challenge. Please, dear God. Not as dominant as years prior, but they won the division again. For some reason, I'm not liking his chances for another MVP award. Now it goes to freaking James. More yards, but threw for more interceptions. Fantastic completion percentage, though. They somehow lost their nice young running back. Receiving, I do think Dallas Goddard was a pretty smart replacement for Kelsey. Honestly, I'm just gonna go into this with an open mind and not expect a Super Bowl appearance because it's just not gonna happen, is it? Finally, dude, it's about time. Crazy how we finally make the Super Bowl, and I think this was our worst regular season record yet. In a tough game against the Texans, we beat the Colts, we absolutely annihilated the one-seed Bengals, and we have got to complete this first Super Bowl run against the Commanders. I'm not letting a team named the Commanders beat me. Probably took a little bit longer to make it here than what Patrick wanted, but better late than never. No interceptions is really the goal right now. And Dallas Goddard hangs on. That actually might be a mistake. Actually, no, I'm just gonna hit Dallas Goddard. Oh my, what was that, bro? I'm gonna test out these 32 plus year old legs. And he's still got a little bit left in the tank. Leave this up to Ronald once again. And we have enough for the first and a few extra yards. Oh, maybe Goddard. Maybe Goddard. Ooh. He's gonna make the catch. Of course he is. Who needs Travis Kelsey? What a signing this was. Let's go. We got a pick. That is not what I anticipated there, but it worked. Oh no, that's Chase Young, and he got me. Honestly, I might just take a shot here, and I think we have a receiver open. Oh my goodness, who is this? Who is this? KJ Hamler! Mahomes dropped it right in the bucket. We actually got another interception. Who's their quarterback? It's not really who I expected. Can we like go ahead and get this game out of reach? I have a glowing X underneath my body, which means I can throw the ball very far and very hard. That's Sky Moore with the catch. Oh, I think I have open space. I have an open space. A die. Touchdown again. Terrence Bowden. It's official. 28 to 9. The Chiefs win. Patrick Mahomes gets his first Super Bowl of the day. I mean, a team named the Commanders never really stood a chance? Patrick says in celebration you've got to subscribe, please. Why are they spending $22 million on a quarterback? Okay, so they did a really good job drafting for defense here, but it does look like this is the final year of his contract, and he's yet to sign an extension, but we'll be sure to revisit this at the end of the season. But if this is his last year with the Chiefs, can we at least go ahead and knock off the MVP and Super Bowl challenges? If he goes elsewhere, there's no guarantee he's gonna be on a better overall team. What do you know? Two straight seasons, we go 10-7 but you remember what happened last year when we had the same record? You've got to be kidding me, James. Oh no, all the way back down in sixth place. I mean, you can't be mad at him. I told you guys he was gonna be the next Travis Kelsey. Can we please make it to back-to-back -back Super Bowl so we can cross that off? It's the same heathen who won the MVP. At least he lost. But the biggest question of the entire video is Patrick Mahomes gonna sign a second contract with the Chiefs or for the first time in his career play elsewhere? Oh my god, it looks like he 
actually re-signed. I mean, there's some crazy free agents out there like Trey Lance, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, Jerry Judy. Of course, the Chiefs kept him around for a few more years. That's a pretty chunky contract. I mean, the highlight of this offseason was Landon Dickerson, which is okay. Now, this draft was a big L. It's almost a new decade, and I still think the Chiefs have won the division every single season. Come on, show some promise in the MVP voting. Oh, no. Oh, boys, he dropped out of the top 10. I mean, I still think that's top 10 numbers. At least we can run again. We obviously have capable receivers, so I don't know what the problem is. I'll trade it all, though, for another Super Bowl berth. Please, Patrick. Let's go! For the second time, the Dan Campbell-led Chiefs, this time taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Bro, the Chiefs literally have a 96-rated offense. That is ridiculous. Wait, why do we have so many good quarterbacks? What is going on? No, you're not getting your first ring. Defense gotta stop drive one, and we're just gonna slowly and calmly run the ball a few plays, get a feel for things. Just kidding, we're freaking slinging this rock for a first down to Aldridge. Oh, tight end wide open. Patton with the first. I mean, we're really tight in university. Travis, Kelsey, Dallas, Goddard, and this guy. Tight end again. Patton, we're getting all those yards back and a few extra. Oh, wide open, bro. Like, where's the defense playing? We're gonna go for a dot right here. We're gonna go for a dot right here. Come on, KJ Hamler! Decent play by the DB. Oh, wide open. How did he get so open, Sky Moore? You monster! That's the most open receiver I've seen in Madden 23. Ah, they kicked a field goal. I just want to test out a theory I have here. I can throw the ball as far as I possibly can. And he's going to make the catch again. Sky Moore, best receiver in Madden 23. What in the world? Oh my god, the tight end's wide open. A little bit of velocity behind that football. And just like that, within the five, this is too easy. Oh, be smart with the football. Can uh, somebody do something? Somebody move. X, I see you. Oh, what a laser. I mean, this is just dot after dot after dot. Our defense is actually playing pretty solid. Although they downed this on the three. You combine Patrick's glowing X with Sky Moore. I should be able to throw this ball like 80 yards. Let's just see, Patrick. How far can you throw this thing? Sky Moore's gonna go up. And he comes down with it. And this is literally on all Madden, so I'm kind of freaked out a little bit. The tight end, once again, he's literally Travis Kelsey. These seam routes are just OP, bro. And I think once again, Sky Moore, dude, is that his third touchdown of this half? This guy's a legend. Oh, can he do it again? <gasps> He is just ridiculous! Like, at this point, I'm literally just lost for work. I can't believe it either, Patrick, because that's the first challenge completed. Should have studied more film, Kyler. Now, all we need is just one more MVP and a few more good statistical seasons. Like, this performance is gonna go down in channel history. We're finally in a brand new decade. A new decade means the franchise mode just crashed again. Ugh. It took a decade for the Chiefs not to win the AFC West. Did Patrick at least get a wild card berth of course he did but all we really care about is that mvp award and it goes to lamar heathen at least we creeped our way back into the top 10 i swear dude it's something about the 10 and 7 seasons now as an extra bulky challenge if we can win this super bowl in a sim we'll count that good as an extra mvp award but i feel like our luck has just been too good the last few years oh my gosh he actually did it again that's now his third super bowl win which crosses off both the mvp and super bowl challenge which now just means patrick mahomes has to finish his career top three in all-time passing touchdowns oh my god the suspense so patrick is 36 now and look at that he finally dipped down to a 98 he signed a measly one-year deal for only 48 million but even if he doesn't win anything else he's made 11 pro bowls and literally all of these awards not to mention four total super bowl wins in his career a lot of his og teammates retired but not patrick at 37 years of age he's now back down to the overall that we started out with today and for the first time he has been downgraded to just superstar but he just keeps getting these expensive one-year contracts i mean i think he's earned it yo he won his second actual mvp so he ended up not actually mickey mouse in the second challenge that makes me feel better i mean oh my god dude that might be the best season he's had his entire career his offense is gonna look completely different now like all of his original receivers are gone although he somehow now has justin jefferson it 
it all comes down to this, the final challenge. Did Patrick Mahomes finish top three all-time in career passing touchdowns? He came in second all-time for career passing yards with a click of a button. Boom! Not only did he just come top three, he threw the most passing touchdowns in NFL history. So thank you so much, Patrick Mahomes, for being a beast. This Patrick Mahomes card is safe. Now, if you enjoyed this one, click right here to watch me play the entire career of Malik Willis.